let's continue. What's this? One in Milgram Victor. Male, 6'2. Last known address, Blackwood Pines, 316-1998. One in connection with a first degree arson offense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provincial Mounted Constab Constabulary Police Monte Princiv Princiv Pri Provincial de Blackwood. <laughs> Jeebus. Um, read properly. <laughs> Is that something? No. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on! Look at these beauties! Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. Uh, have you ever like met Grizzly Josh? Adams or something. <clears throat> uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. Here goes. Why am I him, or is he just gonna shoot himself? Shoot by himself, not shoot himself. Nope, I'm I'm him. Kaplow! Kabang! Noise. What is it, a shotgun or a rifle? It's a rifle, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nope, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody in their brother can shoot a bottle that big, that close. Well... Oh, little squirrel. No, I'm not shooting the squirrel. <clears throat> nice shot. Your ass just got sad. I don't want to kill no animals. Hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Status update. What? What did it update? <clears throat> Sam respected Chris's privacy. Chris was happy to see Sam. Rats with bushy tails. Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. Yeah, why would you choose to shoot the poor little squirrel? Didn't this tribe believe the butterflies brought dreams and premonitions? Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not the, uh, <coughs> these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the event of the past will become clear. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offer visions to help and guide. Yeah, so I'm like, what does the bird tell me? Go the way with the bird? Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. <laughs> Chris Man, it is It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year Yeah, I swear the moment I got here It just all came flooding back Here goes fast Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. That's creepy. <clears throat> I mean, there's homeless people, you know? They find some place to stay, they'll stay. Right. 
car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of What a crazy place to set up house. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, you girl. Like my pines, hotel and sanatorium for a healthy body and mind. Yeah, they only bought a mountain, you know. Some of us can't even afford a house, but they only bought a mountain. What is it? Anyone out there? Yeah. It didn't look like it didn't look like there was anything on the camera. <coughs> Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some seeds, but okay. No, can't go that way. Mm, just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? The adventure begins again. Everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I mean, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. You know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front. Where I was <clears throat> Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And and next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean and became friends to this day. Match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her train bra. I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone, right now, or or talking to some other person entirely. Boom! Butterfly effect. Boom! Butterfly effect. Jess, Mike's girlfriend, outgoing, driven, impulsive. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Time to meet and greet. Oh, boy. <clears throat> oh, what the hell? Jess, hey. Jessica, over here. Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were gone. Becky, Another look at her butt. <laughs> oh, sick, Chris. Look, you got a lot of meat on my bones. So muscle down here. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Uh, explain. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. Huh. Uh, 
All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. Get rid of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here. For I wish I had some of that nature and junk here. Is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, <laughs> what? You know. You see this view? I mean, holy cow! Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have yeah, built the that's the like truth. The evil car ends? Emily, Matt's girlfriend, intelligent, resourceful, forthright. I don't think it would have been like as pretty, you know. Matt, Emily's boyfriend, obliging, dependable, active. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Uh, the bellboy. <sighs> We're almost there. No, I mean getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. Gonna be oh, weird yeah. Up here again. <clears throat> a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Jesus! <laughs> Jess's boyfriend, Emily's ex-boyfriend, brave, driven, charismatic. <laughs> you guys. Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on, guys. We're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Go up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just, uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Nah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this <laughs> Cool. That's all, right. <clears throat> all good? You guys We're good, I guess. Now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trail. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. See ya. Buddy. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Right. Fine. Whatever. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Yep, no problem. Let me just carry everything all by myself. Ashley has a crush on, crush on Chris. The academic, inquisitive, and sensitive. <clears throat> yeah, she's sensitive. She's the only bitch I really remember from this game. friendly and not in the friend zone kind of way they might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup uh. oh, oh jesus <laughs> yeah ass oh. <laughs> sorry there sorry about that ash i didn't mean to scare Just you Louise, well Matt. i did mean to scare you sort of scare you but not like for real oh scare you gosh oh my god <laughs> hey wow man I'm, I'm really sorry ash damn it's okay it's fine it's fine what are you looking at See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, yeah, yeah seeing out. your current girlfriend. Um, 
Sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. All right. Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God damn it. Matt. She a ho. <clears throat> I mean, she might be a ho. I don't know. <laughs> Check the phone. <gasps> Jesus. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you, Serena. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> hey! Oh! Oh! Hey, you know that? At first I was like, what's happening with the radio? It was giving me some full audio, that's what it was doing. Gotcha! Hey! You missed! Sucker! Take that. Hey, <laughs> hey. You can't hide from me, Michael. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Yeah, it only lets me try and hit the bird. I ain't trying to hit the bird. I'm trying to hit him. You gotta respect that nature. Got him. And then what? No more. Oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. Oh more. <laughs> gotcha. It's done. Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. <laughs> my my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica, the snowball queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. Yeah. <laughs> My lady. Kiss him. I like doing the fun stuff, but I'm like, eh. Maybe they need a kiss. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Why was she waiting? Oh, maybe he was I mean, coming down to get her and then take her back up. I guess. Making out with you the whole time. Just making out. Quote unquote. Well, I think quote, you might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. He's like only one way to find out. suppose it seems we hardly scratched the surface in our last session so let's go a little bit deeper this time this time we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety now pick up that book turn the pages you will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. It makes me the most anxious? I don't know, man. What? What? Men or women, they both worry me. It depends on who it is and what they're doing. 
<laughs> um, whatever. Women worry me. Why not? Planes, I guess, are scarier, even though I go on planes and I'll be in a big group. Oh, uh, I don't like either of these. <clears throat> Both of these suck. Uh, heights, I guess. I'd rather be in water, I suppose. Neither of them scare me. We have a pet rat and we have pet snakes. But I guess if one was scarier, a venomous viper snake thing would be scarier to me, I suppose. Guns and knives are scary. <sighs> it's all in context, man. Yeah, shot. So I'd rather be maybe shot than stabbed. Possibly, so yeah, whatever. Knives are scary, why not? I hate cockroaches. It's not even a fear. I just hate cockroaches. They're gross. Think clown is creepier, I guess. Gore disgusts me. Crows are scary. Crows are scary. Like, what? Gore is disgusting. Like, that's... Oh, jeez. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. That's it's not true, though. <clears throat> Spiders are creepy. Needles are creepy, I guess. <laughs> Zombies don't kind of scare me. They're, I mean, they're kind of gross and scary, but... I uh, fear dogs. That's a, not a dog, that's a wolf. This is very interesting. Thank you. For answering so diligent. Like storms don't scare me. No, that's just Spiders, scary. Clowns, needles. And needles. The sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> like clowns aren't that scary, but well, if I had to choose between the things that it was saying. Though. A creepy clown that's following you around or whatever, that would be scary. Like. Well, see you next time, Doc. This has been a, an enlightening experience. Chapter 2, Darkness, 9 hours yeah, until I dawn. It's bigger we every time I climb it. Oh yeah? It feels the same to me. Yeah, that's because you're the one whose family owns this shit. Josh, Hannah, best brother, persistent, creative, playful. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here, okay? Yeah. He's like, it's not fucking easy to get them to put a cell tower up here on the lake. What's up with him? Chris, Washington Lodge Grounds, 20 o'clock or 8 p.m. Yo, yo, yo. We get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sis. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just 
I want us to have a good time, you know? You're not over it. You don't Damn, believe you're over it. You're, li you're lying. What else? <laughs> Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's got to be like a window around the corner we can get like get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? I mean, it's <laughs> I not really it's technically breaking. Yeah, in. like. Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. I'd be like, nah, -uh, nah. If you're trying to say you can get me in trouble for breaking in your house. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. Hey, girl. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Don't worry, girl. We'll curl up together. Anything over here? Matt! Been a while. Rough season, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Friendly. Hey, you okay, man? Some people, you know? You think you know them? Okay. Okay. She's like, whoa, that's. Seems like a touchy subject. No. Oh. See Nash yet? Um, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> What's she doing? She's fine. Why? No reason. She's like, not like she likes you or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking goddamn kids. All right, lead the way, homie. Sorry. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like yeah. a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? <clears throat> and I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? No. Absolutely. When are you going to take Absolutely. her? Absolutely. <laughs> like, I could ever have on, man, she practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these. She wants to be more mountains. than friends. Any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now you come in for the kill. Yeah. Oh, you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. You're a hunter, I mean, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. He's like, bruh, you're going to get up so in that, and you're not even going to, she's going to let you. It's going to happen. I didn't say I had a plan. <laughs> you sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Coach Reese, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot, nobody likes cool buns. Hold on, let me let me check check around real quick. I don't ever know which parts are like, oh you better be quick or oh it's cool to look. Damn, I'm getting pretty low on juice here. I just gotta turn off my GPS. I'm finally like outside where I might actually use Oh well well we got Oh sorry, nice didn't one. mean to Cut him off. Where are we? No, oh, we just go a few seconds more. Push! Push! Oh god! Sounds like I'm taking a large dump. No. <laughs> Alright, just up here and jump on up. Whoa. I have terrible balance, apparently. Or terrible equilibrium. Whoa. I'm sure you could have just I'm okay. landed on your feet like you could attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, it was yeah, like PE. Yeah, climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? Stupid light? I, I don't think so. Here. 
Yeah. I'd be like, how yeah. would you, you didn't even, you're right there. What do you mean did you do that? Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. Well, what, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on, it's a can. Oh, yeah, now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the little army dudes. Yep, ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. <laughs> Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? I'd be like, you're gonna oh, sort no. something? Well, I'd be like, wait, what? what? Hey, they said stay out of the dark. Stay away from the dark. That's what the guy said. And now here I am. In the damn darkness. Oh, I s they went past it. Oh, nope. Oh, turn, turn. There, there we go. Alright, what's this? Oh, there it is. Ah! Oh my goodness. Showed someone getting roasted. Oh, I was like, is that a... <coughs> is that an attic? Oh, I'm not trying to go forward. I'm trying to turn. What's this? Oh, my ear itches. Oh. All right. So, what have we here? Ex janitor convicted for arson swears revenge on movie mogul's family by Charlie Scott, chief reporter. Victor Milgram, 52, was yesterday sentenced to 16 years in prison for aggravated arson committed on Blackwood Pines. Milgram was employed as a janitor of the Mountain's old hotel for 28 years. However, when Hollywood produced Bob producer Bob Washington acquired the property, Milgram was fired. In a sensational twist, the sentencing ended with an arranged Milgram screening obscenities at Washington's heavily pregnant wife, Melinda, calling her a fucking whore. She vowed to, or he vowed to get all of you, you fuck, your fucking husband and kids, and said that he would make them suffer. Melinda had visibly struggled to maintain her composure throughout the case, and later claimed that though she was upset by Milgram's threats, she had full faith in the legal system to keep her and her family safe. Doodle-loo-loo. Pause it here.